everybody, welcome to Off the Wagon, brought to you by Happy Trails to Brews. I'm Bill, I'm your host, and to be honest with you, I wasn't even going to review this beer. I had a taste of it, and I was like, nah, maybe I shouldn't. But, let's go ahead with it, and I'm going to review it for you, and let you know what I really think, because I shouldn't be holding back punches, and I should be bringing you everything, the good and the bad. So, what we have today is Dragons and Yum Yums by Dogfish Head. This bottle art looks awesome. It's so cool looking. I just wish the beer was halfway as good as it. So, it's supposed to be a pale ale with a bunch of funky stuff in it. So, pale ale brewed with dragon fruit, yum berry, passion fruit, pear, and black carrot juice. I don't even know what a yum berry is. But it looked kind of cool and I figured I'd try it out. And this is what they came up with. So it's a darker, not as carbonated pale. It smells like it wants to be a sour, but without being a sour. And that's how it tastes. It's just this letdown because it doesn't have the hoppiness of being a pale, nor does it have the sourness of being a sour. It's just kind of there. And it's almost like, almost like a funky soda that didn't come out right. And it's just with a splash of alcohol in it. Um, and normally I love Dogfish Head. I'll drink 120 until I hit the floor. So normally they're making good beers. This one, yeah, not doing it for me. I wouldn't recommend it. If you see it out there, the bottle looks cool. I really like that. That's what drew me to it. Is, I was like, hey, this is kind of different. It looks cool. Let's give it a shot. Sometimes marketing works and gets you to buy the beer. But it only works once. Yeah, and it's Dragons and Yum Yums from Dogfish Head. And let's take our time. And if we're going to drink beer, let's drink better beer. Remember everybody, while you're out there, drink good beer with good people. Happy trails, travelers.